Greetings and salutations. Welcome to the channel. Uh, uh, today we're starting a new series called Control. As you can see with the big white letters up there. Um, comes out of Remedy Studios and 505 Games. Uh, Remedy being known for being awesome storytellers as far as uh, kind of like that film noir vibe, the dark, creepy, whatever, seedy underbelly. But um, yeah, this one's just a psychological thriller with a bit of, uh, like I said, the film noir thing and then a, probably um, maybe a pinch of X-Files on top. But Digital Foundry gave this guy a um, nod for best uh, game of 2019 for graphics. And so I thought, man, this is another one that's been sitting on the shelf and been looking forward to crack it open. And so without further ado, let's jump into it. Warning. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, oh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Yeah, I see it. But what is it? I can feel it. It resonates. The things you show me, my friend, I forget. It's all in my head. There's no you, right? Wow, one heck of a intro there. Where is everybody? I need someone to point me in the right direction. So I guess a big chunk of uh, this game too is also the side quest. Well, it's, um, the real meat and potatoes of the video game itself is kind of like picking up these clues on the side and um, yeah, kind of going from there and yeah, because I guess it has a main story line, story arc, if you want to call it that. And um, you can buzz through and do that one. But uh, the side quests are supposed to be pretty darn awesome. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out for those as well. Prohibitive items reminder. Federal Bureau of Control reminder. Certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issue. Reminder on prohibitive materials, unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, 
smart watches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart, a number two pencil, not so smart, but can take out an eyeball. So please um, refrain from number two pencils. Thank you. Well, I can see what they mean by, I mean, because the textures in here are pretty darn sweet. And the reflective surfaces, I mean, woo. I can look at the texture in that chair. That's pretty wild. But I'll quit nerding out. My bad. Nothing here. Did all this. No. All right, man. Let's head on upstairs. So, wow, that's uh, above the door is the green light. Obviously, red, green, locked, unlocked. But a good way to be able to scan the area and just look for things that are ripe for the picking. Check that out. We got something. A collectible um, your expenditures expenditure summary staffing surveillance redacted data center initiative construction office equipment janitorial cost mold removal HQ living costs hmm, okay hey okay. static TV everybody loves those this seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Hmm? I guess it's seal. Head of research, Dr. Casper Darling, huh? Our bureau at work. Oh. Director. Zachariah Trench. Or oh, check this out. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Interesting, no doors out here, but there's a door on the inside. That's pretty cool. Nice touch. Wet floor sign. Actual water on the floor. Correspondence. R4 reports. Federal Bureau of Control. Hello. As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4E from your supervisor. If you think they're exempt from filing R4, then you need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate Department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best. Hugs and kisses, your admin team. Lovely. I do like that they ha highlight, you know, like um, viewable items from a distance. So, 
You know, Hello? you don't have to spend too much time running around looking for things. You can kind of just buzz in, buzz out. Come on, karate chop that dude. Hey, excuse me. Hmm. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. Element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna you hold. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. no face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Don't mind me when I just take a quick peek in your closet. Walk across your wet floor there. That's kind of interesting. I'll buzz right through here. Buzz right around through here. And it's just a quick dead end. Because it seems like we came in from that way. Unmapped area. Wouldn't you know it? Yeah, no, like we came in from here because we definitely walked up behind the dude. And then he points straight ahead. I know what I'm talking about. I know you guys saw it too. The okay. cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Darn Courtney Hope. Ah, so I guess it actually starts here. So, yeah, welcome everybody to Control. Yeah, so far so good. Like I said, Remedy Games is good at, I mean, at uh, storytelling. So I do have high hopes and that, um, that it lives up to the hype, but so far so good. you there for a moment you know what's on my mind my baby brother Dylan 17 years since the men of this bureau took him and that crazy thing the elevator you could not look around it would not let you look around and you could definitely push forward and walk out but you could not look around in there that's Already a bit creepy. Yeah, the textures, I mean, just, I'm sorry. I'm, once again, I'm getting busted nerd, nerding out here. I'll try not to do that so much. But yeah, that's just crazy, incredible. Yeah, the textures are like legit. missions welcome to the oldest house proceed deeper into the be all welcome to the oldest house jesse fadden arrives at the oldest house the headquarters of the federal bureau of control to look for answers to the mysterious 
mysteries of her childhood. <laughs> Last collectible. Like, I don't know why that's highlighted. You've read them all. So, we're Gucci there. Let's get on with it. Internal lockdown in effect. Building lockdown in effect. Multiple containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Head of research override. Mm. Something protocol activated. HRA protocol activated. Don't see anything else. Wow, check out that physics. That's crazy. Alrighty. Obviously locked, but we'll try anyways because it was highlighted. Quick look in here. Just heard a door open and close somewhere. Not a zilch, nothing. Okay. Yeah, and see, that's what I'm talking about. I, I'm used to other games where, you know, you almost got to walk right up on the item in order to highlight it. This, they actually have it pretty much sitting out there for you to deal with, so you don't have to take too long to go searching for stuff. Mm, Federal Bureau of Control, Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all of my appointments for the day, for the rest of the week even. I can't trust them. Barbara, not a single one. Director Trench. Because <laughs> we saw his painting upstairs. Painting of him upstairs. Hmm. Locked. Yeah, yeah. Yo. Investigate the noise in the director's office. whatever spiral thing that keeps floating around me every once in a while oh, and his blood is like all white or something it must be once again great textures light reflection stop nerd <laughs> And there goes the poster. Objects hmm. of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component oh, in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? Oh. Oh, you're crazy. Bubble gun. <laughs> oh, oh, probably wasn't supposed to happen. But okay. <laughs> Saw that shadow creature over there. <laughs> uh, 
have for me, man. Oh, she definitely got a serious guy. right hook. Okay, now I have a gun. Wow, man, this place is crazy. Like a matrix scene. We'll need more guns. Lots of guns. Okay. Oh, she can crouch. Drop health elements when damaged. Collect health elements to restore your health. Follow the board's instruction to complete the astral plane challenge. May have to turn my sensitivity down a little bit. A little, a little too twitchy. So far, something's coming. This threat, an attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise and. I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Welcome to the old it's okay, man. And the door does have a green light up above, so we can obviously go out that way. Hold up. I'm not seeing anything else around here to do it. Yo. Mm. 
I was saying I was liking this game. That's uh, that. I'm a little, little twitchy when it comes to like the super spooky stuff. What on earth did I just get myself into? Sorry, a little congested uh, today. Hopefully, not catching the flu bug. But let's move on here. The hotline. Secure line of communication. What the hell is back there? Reach the hotline. Reach the hotline. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. Says the crazy girl. Undefined reading material. Huh. Huh. Undefined reading material. Oh, got quite a few actually. Just this one. This picture, okay. Object of power. Our service weapon. Got it. Description Objects form is variable when bound the object allows per Lotarian whatever this object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of Object will determine whether blank if rejected the applicant is terminated rip So yes, yeah, he literally would have if the gun didn't like her. She would have been 86 uh, federal Bureau of Control agenda items for the next executive meeting, rising cost, update on mold, upcoming annual salary, new supplier coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please come prepared. Thank you for your time. Adios. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, hmm. the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well, fine. Literally, Thank you. got it. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, federal Oh, we saw his picture too earlier. A painting or whatever. Let's back out of there. Uh, so we got psycho floaty people chanting weird stuff right now. 
And I mean, I don't know if, you know, will we be able to save their lives later or? I just don't want to start melting them out of the ceiling, so. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Wow, Thank looks you like her. For your attention. Picture of her like she is the new boss. Door green. I'm telling you, those bodies floating around, that's creepy AF. control for Marshall's eyes only Marshall we checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth wasn't anything just like the house fire before this and the manufacturing clothes dryer before that my team is getting pretty sick of these duds we need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real thing or you need to rotate these field agents out off for a bit anyway we're en route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a livelier there. Sincerely, Agent Keenum. Like Agent Keen from the Blacklist. Reminder. Mm. We got that one. Okay. I just don't like uncompleted things in my like to-do list, I guess. Mm, personal mod health recovery really nice. so let's take a right so I guess we go right really want to pop a cap in those guys but um, Oh, that was the door closing. Talk about freaking me out. Creepy red room. So this is the red room we saw through the windows earlier. Wow. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right. It's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Crazy. Legends. We'll pick up on urban legends. Uh, all this like loadout thing. I think that's at like uh, health regen. I just got the feeling we got a uh, like a uh, something coming up that's no bueno. So we'll check out those collectibles a little bit later. And 
tell you, those really creep me out. Yes, we're good there. Nice pyramid with steam coming out the tip of it upside down. Um, mm. Guess we have to jump down. All right. What the hell, man? guy too oh man the control point what does that mean help me yeah. fix it uh. okay I don't know what that was but just taking a quick look Okay, to listen to the shiny object thing that keeps talking in our head. Was yeah. With the bureau. To fully restore your health, okay. Are you still sane? Please talk to me. We saw Security. you deal with the compromised agents. where that voice is coming from like who is talking I don't know I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane the feelings mutual yeah, I'm Pope Emily Pope a Dr. Darling's assistant my turn should I lie Jesse Faden I'm just visiting I should have lied oh shit you're the new director hold on we're coming out. Oh, wow. So that painting, <laughs> that's too funny. Or that picture of her with the American flag behind her. Yeah, it was like... Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. Oh, I'm oh, Emily. Wait. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. 
You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. TMI. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Alrighty, so she has some sort of interdimensional friend that's like uh, part of her inner head and she refers to these uh, the creatures of his but um, before we go off and do all that we are going to stop right there and when we come back for the next episode we will try to cure that individual of whatever is possessing these things floating around <laughs> um, obviously the Bureau of Control so until then I will catch you guys on the other side and when we come back we will take care of that floaty person demons be gone type sort of thing um, until then yeah catch you guys on the other side peace